For more videos, visit forthesakeofeducation.com. All right, guys, let's do this example that says consider an amplifier operating from plus 10 minus 10 volts power supply. So let's start drawing the problem so we can visualize it. We got plus 10 volts right here, minus 10 volts right here. It is fed with a sinusoidal voltage of having one volt peak. So it has a sinusoidal voltage. Let's call it Vs. And it has one volt peak. So it's one sine of WT. And delivers a sinusoidal voltage of nine volts. That goes in. And another sinusoidal voltage comes out. So let's call it PL of 9 volts sine of WT to a 1K load. The amplifier draws current of 9.5 milliamps from each of the power supplies. So the current right here is 9.5 milliamps. 9.5 milliamps. The input current of the amplifier is found to be sinusoidal with a 0.1 milliamp peak. So 0.1 milliamp. Find the voltage gain. Let's find the voltage gain. The voltage gain let me actually do this in a new layer. It'd be easier this way. The voltage gain, voltage, let's call it AV, is simply given by this 9 volt right here divided by this 1 volt. It's the output over the input, which is equal to 9 over 1, which is equal to 9 volts over volts. So we got the voltage gain, the current gain. Well, let's also find the voltage gain in decibels. In dV, the voltage gain in dV is given by 20 log of AV, the absolute value of AV. And when you apply this into your calculator, you get that this is equal to 19.08 decibels. Okay, so now we got to calculate the current gain. Now for that, we need to find the the output current. The output current let's call it IO is simply given by the 9 volts 9 volts divided by the resistance. This is basic Ohm's law you know that V is equal to I times R so I is equal to V over R. So 9 volts over 1K gives you 9 milliamps. So the current gain, let's call it AI, that will be the current gain, is equal to 9 millivolts that we just found, this is 9, I'm sorry, 9 milliamps, divided by 0.1 milliamps that we got at the source, which is 0.1 milliamps, this is amps. So this is equal to 90 amps over amps. Now the current gain in decibels, current gain in dB is given by 20 log of the current gain, the absolute value of the current gain, and it comes out to be 39.1 dB. So we got the current gain. Now we will find the power gain. So to find the power gain, first we find the power at the load. How much power we have right here at the load, PL. So to find the power at load, we do the output voltage in RMS times the current output current in RMS. Why RMS? 
RMS stands for root mean square. In order to use the power equations that we're used to when you have uh, sinusoidal voltage values and current values, you need to convert them to RMS. To convert them to RMS, all you need to do is divide the peak values, the amplitudes, by the square root of 2. So the output voltage RMS, you know that the output voltage is 9 volts over square root of 2 times the output current which you know to be 9 milliamps let's call it I O divided by the square root of 2 so that will be 9 volts over square root of 2 times 9 milliamps divided by the square root of 2 and it comes out to be 40.5 and the unit is volts times amps is watts but we have a milliamp so it's milliwatts So that's the power at the load. Now we need to know the power input. Pi. Again, same idea. In order to use the power equation voltage times current, you need to convert into RMS. So the input voltage RMS times the input current RMS is equal to the input divided by the square root of 2 times the amplitude of the current divided by the square root of 2 so it's 1 volt over square root of 2 times 0.1 milliamp over square root of 2 and 1 times 0.1 over 2 comes out to be 0 0.05 milliwatts So the power gain comes out to be obviously the power at the load PL over the input power. So 40.5 divided by 0 0.05, the millis cancel and you get that this is 810 watts over watts. That's the power gain. And the power gain in decibels. AP in dV is given by 10, not 20, 10 log of AP. And it comes out to be 10 log of 810, which is 29.1 dV. So we got the current gain and the power gain now. Now they want to know the power drum from the DC supplies. The power drum from the DC supplies, also known as the power delivered, power delivered, let's call it PDC, is given by VCC. Again, this is VCC and this is v, uh, VEE. -E. So VCC times ICC, the current, plus VEE times IEE. So it's 10 times 9.5 plus, this will be negative 10 times negative 9.5 because it's going towards it. So this comes out to be Remember that the 9.5s are in milliamps and these are in volts, so this comes out to be milliwatts, 190 milliwatts. This is the power drum from the DC supplies. Now they want you to find the power dissipated. Let's call it B dissipated because dissipated. So power dissipated is the power delivered plus the input power minus the power at the load. This is not that hard to remember. Just notice this is everything going in, everything, everything in minus everything out. So 
this power is coming in, the input's going into the amplifier and the VCC is also going in and what's coming out is the power at load. So that's how you find out the power dissipated. And it is equal to PDC we found to be 190 milliwatts and the input is 0 0.05 milliwatts and the output is 40.5 milliwatts so the power dissipated is 149 about 149 um, milliwatts <clears throat> so that is the power dissipated by the amplifier another one should find the efficiency the efficiency also known as N is simply the power at the load over the power delivered which is found times 100 so it's PL over PDC times 100 so it's 40.5 milliwatts we found before times 100 over 190 milliwatts and it comes out to be 21.3 percent and that is the amplifier efficiency so that is everything that they're asking you for this problem final answers Please comment below if you want me to do any problems and I'll be happy to help. Thank you.